at you guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sandra D, the, the main event. We will not be talking about hair and we will not be talking about food in this segment. We are continuing our journey in regards to the narcissist. Now, today's video is going to be in regards to shift blaming. Okay. Now, I wanted to make sure that when I came in this video that you guys understand what shift blaming is and how the narcissist uses shift blaming. Okay. So shift blaming is pretty much of them removing themselves from the responsibility of how they hurt you, wounded you, and how they deceived you into you taking full responsibility for what happened. So that they can get away with what they did to you scot-free. Okay. So the shift blaming is a way of them to remove themselves from accountability and responsibility and make you feel like everything that transpired and happened in the relationship was your fault. Okay. And I wanted to come and do this video in regards to the shift blaming because I noticed in the comments that a lot of you guys are saying, this is my fault. And I'm just going to come back to you again and tell you no. Okay. How can it be your fault when you were conned by a con artist that took advantage of your kindness? You cannot be responsible for somebody else's actions. That responsibility and that accountability solely belongs to the narcissist for what they did. That is not your fault. And you cannot take accountability and responsibility for someone who sat there and lied to you in your face. You know, like in Friday when he was like, you ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. Okay, they're expecting for you to do this. Okay, so that in the last video, you know how I talked to you guys in regards to the future faking. Okay, they know that they did wrong. But when you take the responsibility, that's when they're going to come in under the radar. And give you the faker, the fake, uh, the, the future faking because they feel like they can pull the wool over your eyes one more again and one more again and one more again, like a repeated cycle. You know, like when you do your laundry, okay, and that sucker is on spin, that's what they want you to do. Keep going and going and going and going like you an energizer battery or something. Because all they're trying to do is take away your energy, but also try to drain you so that you will not fulfill the destiny that you are destined for. I'm going to keep telling you guys that narcissist came to give you an awakening so that you can be prepared to not allow someone to think that it is okay for them to mistreat you. OK, you needed to understand that people do play games, but you didn't even you wasn't even aware that you was even a part of a game that was being played until you went through the process. OK, this lesson, even though it hurt, was a blessing in disguise to prepare you to prep you for something big that's going to happen in your life. And you need to be able to understand that you cannot allow everybody in your circle because you do have wolves in sheep clothing that will come to you and deceive you because that's what a narcissist did. The only thing they did was admire you from afar just to figure out how that they could be able to meet you. Then they mirrored you. And introduced you to this wonderful person that was you already. Remember, I told you that was just your confirmation. 
And a narcissist, you already understand, as I already said in, in last videos, that they're looking for supply to meet their demands. Your playbook is what's going to help you to understand that when you are in a position and you're going to hire Lentz, you're going to know what to look out for so you do not believe the hype and fall into deception again. So this playbook that you have that you're creating, okay, this playbook is for your protection to protect your destiny. Because a narcissist knows when their time is up. But they also are expecting to be able to come back, which is why they do the future faking and get you to take the relationship like it was all your fault by getting them off the hook. And they guilty as hell. So you need to understand your value and quit blaming yourself for something that wasn't your fault. Because it's designed for you not to be able to see the sneak attack. It's hidden. And you got to remember the narcissist is good at this. This is what they do. It's not who you are. Which is why this was something you needed to learn. So that you will not allow someone to do this to you again. But also for you to understand that everybody that's friendly is not your friend. OK, and not to take candy from a stranger. And when you're sitting there meeting and talking and greeting, you feel like you guys are seeing eye to eye. You already know. Don't just drop your walls automatically. Because they seem non threat as a non threat. No, you got to be sure. And don't spill the tea. You got to make it difficult for someone to get to know you. You got to be like, if somebody said to you, oh man, they acting like they hard to get. You are. Because you know better. So I just wanted to come here and let you know, do not take the responsibility of a narcissist who sat over here and did you wrong because they did it intentionally on purpose for you to blame yourself. This is a trap for you to stay in hurt, to stay in bondage. For you not to complete your destiny. They're counting on you to do that. So that if they can come back again, they're going to take you through the whole cycle again. So do not beat yourself up for that. If anything, forgive yourself because again, you didn't recognize what was going on. But now that you got a playbook, you understand the game and you know how to play it. You just need to understand that when you are in in this situation that you're not trying to play the game with them, but you're learning how to maneuver and move through life so that you don't be entrapped again. This is what your playbook is about because you're not playing the game. You change the game because you ain't playing and you letting that narcissist know I'm not playing. So this is just a quick video to let you guys know. Stop faulting yourself. You can't fault yourself for something you didn't know. This is was for your learning. So that no one can distract you from your destiny because you're destined for greatness. I'll see you guys in the next video.